this video, we will discuss the laws of radicals. But before that, let us try to understand what is radical. Based on my definition here, a radical is an expression containing a radical symbol. Like for example, cube root of 4. So this expression is an example of a radical because it contains a radical symbol. So the number here, 3, is what we call the index. So the index indicates the degree of radicals. While this symbol is what we call the radical symbol. So this is a sign or a symbol where the root of numbers indicates. While the number or expression inside the radical symbol is what we call the radicand. Let us enumerate the laws of radicals. Let's start with letter A. Nth root of A raised to N is equal to A. Let's have some set of examples here. For number 1, let's say that I have here square root of 2 square. And if we evaluate 2 square, it will give 4. And we all know that the square root of 4 is 2. The only problem here is paano kung mas malaki ang magiging radicand at hindi natin alam ang square root. So meron diyan mas mabilis na paraan. Okay, we all know here that in this expression that the index is 2. We can use here the cancellation method and the cancellation method will, will only be happen if the index of the expression and the power of the radicand is the same so since pareho silang 2 we can now cancel this and the power and then the the remaining number or expression in the radicand is the answer so if you simplify square root of 2 square it will give Let's have another example. Let's say that I have here cube root of 8 raised to 3. Okay, so this expression is also the same with question number 1, no? Okay, ang pinagkaiba lang natin dito is we use here a grouping symbol. So kapag sinimplify natin ito or inexpand natin ito, it will give cube root of 8 times cube root of 8 times cube root of 8. And then we have cube root of, let us multiply the radicands, 8 times 8 times 8 is 512. And we all know that the cube root of 512 is 8. Now, by using the cancellation method here, so since that the index and the power of is the same, we can now simply cancel and then it will give 8. We can use the cancellation method here regardless whether the power is written inside the parentheses or outside the parentheses. Let's have number 3. Let's say that I have here negative square root of 25 squared. So by applying here the cancellation method, so since that the index and the power in the radicand is the same, we can now use the cancellation method. Let us cancel the radical sign and you can also cancel the power. And the remaining is 25. And then you need to copy the negative sign. So if you simplify negative square root of 25 square, it will give negative 25. Okay, let's have letter B, another law. Nth root of AB is equal to nth root of A times nth root of b. So let's have an example. Okay, for number 1, let's say that I have here square root of 24. 
So ngayon, mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang factors ng 24 na kung saan ang isa ay pwede nating isimplify dahil meron siyang square root. Okay, so at ang number na naisip natin ay square root of 4 multiply by square root of 6, no? So 4 times 6 is equal to 24. At itong 4 ay mayroong square root. Ang square root ng 4 ay 2 at ang 6 ay wala ng square root so you simply copy that. So therefore, the square root of 24 is 2 square root of 6. Let's have number 2. Let's say that I have here cube root of 8x raised to 7. So, sa 8, wala tayong problema dahil ang 8 ay mayroong cube root. Samantalang ang x raised to 7 ay wala. Ano? So, unless kung ang power ay babawasan natin ang isa. So, it will become 6. So, kailangan kasi ang power ay palaging divisible sa index. So, kung babawasan natin ang isa, ang 7 it will become 6, no? So, 6 can be divided by the index, which is 3. Okay. So, ngayon, gawin natin siyang ganito. So, cube root of 8 x raised to 6. Babawasan natin ang isa, ang power. And then, multiply by cube root of in here, yung isa na binawas natin ay ilalagay natin as a second factor. So, x uh, raised to 1 or x. Okay? Because if you multiply the radicand here, 8x raised to 6 times x, it will, be, uh, it will give 8x raised to 7. Then, let us simplify. Uh, the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of x raised to 6 is x squared. So how it became x squared? So the cube root of x raised to 6 is x squared. No? So paano yung naging x squared? So x 6 divided by the index which is 3 equals 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that's why x squared. And then, wala tayong uh, cube root ng x. So, kukopihin lang natin yan. Cube root of x. And this will be the answer. Let's have another law. N root of a over b equals n root of a over n root of b. Where in b should be greater than to 0. So, ang b ay kailangan greater than 0 para hindi tayo magkaroon ng undefined value. So, take a look at this example. Number 1, cube root of 27 over x cubed. Now, let us rewrite this expression into this kind of expression. Cube root of 27 over cube root of x cube. Now, the radicand can be rewrite into an exponential form, no? In which the power uh, will become similar to the index. So, if we are going to rewrite 27 into exponential form, it will become cube root of 3 cube. Because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 over cube root of x cube. In here, we can apply here the cancellation method. So since the index and the power is the same, cancel, the numerator will become 3. And then in the denominator, the index and the power is the same. You can now cancel, then x. So therefore, if you simplify cube root of 27 over x cube, It will give 3 over x. Let's have example number 2. Let's say that 
we have square root of 4 over y raised to 4. Okay, so by applying the quotient rule, square root of 4 over the square root of y raised to 4. Okay, so we all know that the square root of 4 is 2. So pwede natin ilagay dito ay 2. So by simplifying, pakita natin yung process. So itong 4 na dibit uh, na radicand, pwede natin itong gawing exponential form. It will become 2 squared because 2 times 2 is 4 over then itong y raised to 4 pwede siyang maging y squared raised to 2 so then let us apply here the cancellation so 2 over cancel the power and then the radical sign then ang may iwan ay y squared now if you simplify square root of 4 over y raised to 4 it will become 2 over y squared let's have another law m root of n root of a or it can be m n root of a or pwede rin namang pagbalikta rin yung dalawang index no so the only thing here is that m and n are the factors of m n no so kung ganina nagpa factors tayo ng radicand uh, ngayon naman magpa factors tayo ng index no okay let's have some illustrative examples for number one six root of eight okay so take a look at the index six so pwede natin itong i-factor as two and three okay at ang radicand ay 8. So kung ang factors natin ng 6 ay 2 and 3, uh, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin si 2 as index. Why? Because 8 doesn't have a square root. Pero meron siyang cube root. Kaya ang magiging uh, inner index natin ay 3. So paano yun, no? So, it will become square root of cube root of 8. So, nasaan ang 2? Nandito siya. So, 2 times 3 is 6. So, go, by going back to the law, okay, so, ang factor ng, ng mn ay m and n. So, in here, the factors of 6 is 2 and 3. Because 2 times 3 is 6. And ginamit natin yung 3 as index sa loob dahil ang 8 ay mayroong cube root. Hindi natin ginamit ang 2 because 8 doesn't have a square root. Okay? So then, simplify natin yung pinaka-inner. Okay? So, square root of the cube root of 8 is 2. So, 2 doesn't have a square root. So, therefore, if you simplify 6 root of 8, that is square root of 2. Let's have example number 2. Let's say that I have here cube root of square root of 8. Okay, so, to solve this, Inuuna natin itong inner part, no? So, the index of the inner part is 2. Okay. So, by going back here in our rule, pwede nating pagbalikta rin uh, itong m and n. No? Pwede siyang maging ganito, no? So, ginagawa lang yun kapag ang radicand in the inner part doesn't have uh, a square root or cube root, no? Kung hindi uh, pwedeng isatisfy ng index. Okay. Now, so dahil ang 8 ay walang eksaktong square root, pero meron siyang eksaktong cube root, pagbabalikta rin natin yung dalawang index, no? So, it will become square root of cube root of 8. So, nandito yung 2. So, pinagbalikta lang natin yung dalawang index. So, equals, and then, uh, pwede na natin isimplify itong inner part to cube root of 8 is 2. 
So if you simplify cube root of square root of 8, it will become square root of 